1972, Sopper realized that salinity in the watershed was going to be an issue and partnered with Orange County Sanitation District to create the Inland Empire brine line. The purpose of the brine line is to dispose of salt. Brine line was innovative simply just because the, it hadn't been done before. The brine line opens the door for the reuse of water supply and the maximization of, and the beneficial uses of that water supply. 60% of the brine line is being used uh, as a disposal system for desalters that were constructed all through the Chino Basin and that drinking water is utilized by four million people. Without the brine line, that would not be possible. The brine line is five major lines that together touch from, the, from San Bernardino County, from throughout Riverside County, all of which drain down uh, until it crosses into Orange County. Orange County Sanitation District uh, is the receiver of the brine and what they do with it, they take it down to their big treatment plant uh, in Huntington Beach, right near the ocean. They treat it and then they put it into the ocean. Most people's doctors say reduce the amount of salt in your diet. Well, we certainly don't want it to be in our drinking water. We want to keep salt where it belongs, in the ocean. So salt imbalance is a very serious problem. The Inland Empire, where we are right now, has about a 0.6 million ton imbalance of salt every year. That much more salt comes in naturally than goes out naturally. If we let salt flow down the river unbridled in its way, by the time it got to Orange County, the water would be pretty much unusable. And it would leave a path of destruction along the Santa Ana River. So salt needs to be controlled, needs to be maintained, and what the, the brine line does is control it, convey it down to the ocean where it belongs. Well, the Real Foods is a uh, food manufacturing company, especially in uh, Mexican food. We use the water for different purposes. We use the water for uh, our process. We use the water to uh, clean up the whole plant. And also we use the water to generate the steam that we use for cooking. Then we, we uh, treat the water through a system uh, that we call a dove system. And then we clean it as much as we can and we send it to the brine line. The brine line is important for us uh, because we discharge a lot of water. We discharge about 145,000 gallons per day. So uh, if we don't have a way to dispose the water to a brine line, we pretty much shut down the plant. The brine line allows us in the Santa Ana River watershed to support businesses and industries that would otherwise be too salty to flow into the regular wastewater sewer treatment plant. There's probably uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 5,000 jobs that are directly uh, related to the uh, brine line. So it enables the Inland Empire to bring in some really good businesses that are great for the economy, for uh, jobs, and, uh, and they can get rid of their wastewater in the most efficient way possible, and that's using the brine line. Salt is being added to our water softeners so we can make soft water for our washroom chemistry. And if we were to use hard water, all our whites would come out gray and dingy. Our brine line is being used for our discharge of our wastewater. Once the, all the water is treated in our wastewater system, it is discharged into the brine line. We are discharging 171,000 gallons a day, about 62 million gallons annually into the brine line. Well, without that brine line, especially in my industry, you're going to force a lot of customers to use their own in-house laundries. We're using you know, under half a gallon of water per pound of dirty linen. From a home standpoint, people are using north of 5, 10, 12 gallons of water alone. That's why it's so important to us. It's about our people, it's about our community. Um, it, it's just doing the right thing. Frankly, we wouldn't be able to operate without the brine line. We, we'd have nowhere else to go without the brine My name is Rick Glassman. I work for International Rectifier, which is part of Infineon Technologies. I'm the general manager of this site, and we make semiconductor chips uh, for the electronic industry, primarily focused on the power segment. We have brine wastewater because as part of our manufacturing process, we use water in a couple of different ways. Part of it is used in the manufacturing of the semiconductors and the wafers themselves as, as rinsing off acids and 
part of the process and other parts of the water are used for cooling the equipment. So we have about uh, 19 million gallons a year that is non-hazardous but um, needs to be disposed of in the brine line. Our water gets to the brine line. We don't have a direct discharge line at this site, um, so we have to haul it to one of the disposal sites. Um, and it's just been the most reliable, low-cost option for us to remove the, the water from the site. Part of our mission statement as a company is to conserve the world's energy and resources, and I think conserving water and, and being able to use the brine line is part of that mission statement. There's two ways to discharge to the brine line. You can actually physically connect by a pipeline, or you can go to one of four collection stations and haul your brine wastewater by truck. And there's four collection stations, one in the city of Chino, one in the city of Corona, one in the, in the Paris area, and then one in the city of San Bernardino. So there's four locations where you can haul your brine wastewater to. The brine line is currently flowing about 11 million gallons per day. The design capacity of the brine line is 30 million gallons per day, so there's obviously plenty of capacity available in the brine line. We take out about 90,000 tons of salt per year out of what would normally go into the environment and we put it in the brine line and take it to the ocean where it belongs. I think it's the most significant piece of infrastructure that exists today in this region. It ought to be done in every watershed of the state of California, and maybe we would have a little bit more relief from the drought than we have now. The brine line protects the water going to Orange County because Orange County uses the water in the Santa Ana River as drinking water. So it's very important to me that we take care of the entire watershed, and that helps all of us, the people in the Inland Empire, and also us in Orange County.